Welcome back to Forte Sports. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So Smush Parker was on a podcast. Um, forget the guy's name. He used to be on ESPN. I think it's Pablo Tori Toro, something like that. You've seen him on Around the Horn a lot, but he had Smush Parker, former teammate of Kobe Bryant back in the day when the years when Shaq left they traded him to the Heat and we saw you know teammates like Smush Parker Chris Mim and it was a struggle for Kobe Bryant at the time because they I mean they weren't contenders anymore and Kobe is very competitive and Smush Parker you know we hear we we're hearing his side of the story and I'm gonna let you guys hear his thoughts on some things that happened with Kobe off the court and I'm gonna come back and give you my thoughts that's amusing to people but at the same time it was like where is this coming from Mm -hmm. what is your understanding of what sparked his comment seemingly out of nowhere so that spark has been there for years you know it was uh you know something that uh a snowball that i created i did a small like little interview outside of west 4th street at the cage at the cage you know somebody was holding a recorder and a little little camera and uh, this was, I want to say, the summer of 2007, my years after L.A. Mm. And they asked me about, you know, my time in the NBA, my time as a Laker, my time playing with Kobe Bryant. And when I got to answering about my time with Kobe Bryant, as normal, I answered it honestly. My truth, you know, what my experiences were. And I said it was an overrated experience. Playing with Kobe. Playing with Kobe Bryant. And now everybody who's who's a fan of Kobe's, including the interview, was like, hmm, explain, what do you mean by overrated experience? And because I have inside information, because I dealt with this man for two seasons and my, my locker was here, his locker was here for right two next seasons. To him. Like, I watched this man put on his shoes every day <laughs> for work. Right. He watched me put on my shoes every day for work. Starting backcourt yeah. together, you two. Yeah. So I was speaking from my experience. It was overrated because the man never spoke to me. Mm. I wasn't the 12th man on the bench. I wasn't the the call up from the G League who was trying to just uh, fill a, a roster spot. I started with this man. I was his coworker. Like we shared a cubicle side by side. How do you do that for two seasons and never hold a conversation? Never, what's up? Good morning. You know, do you need anything? Can can I get you a cup of coffee? You know, how's the family? Nothing. Two seasons, side by side. Yeah. And that's what I said. My next comments hurt his feelings, and therefore he had to retaliate. So what did you say next? I shared a story about how I did try to talk to him. You know, I'm like, I'm the starting point guard with him in the backcourt. Let me just try to talk to him. And I, you know, said, did you catch happen to catch the football game last night? And he looked at me, honestly, looked at me and said, you can't talk to me. You need more accolades under your belt before you come talk to me. So, yeah, man, we all know that Kobe Bryant is a very competitive person. You have some people think he should have left some of that stuff on the court, but that's just how he was with that Mamba Mamba mentality. Like, he was big on winning championships. We saw that with the, um, when, when he was playing with Nick Young, them, I think that was like a year or two before he retired. He called them soft like Charmin, like him and um, what was that? Um, Jeremy Lin and all those guys who was on the team. He's called, he said they were soft like Charmin, and he's very competitive. That's what we love about Kobe. My mom was a big Kobe Bryant fan because she liked that fire in him. Now, do I approve of how he handled if this is true with Smush Parker saying how he handled these situations off the court? I don't agree with that, not talking to the man because, um. That's not, I don't really blame Smush Parker for what happened for those years in LA and you know how that how that just impacted his career possibly. But that's it's just how Kobe Brown was. Like I said, I don't approve of those actions. I'm not talking to the man. Like he said, you're his co-worker. Um, it's basketball. But that's just how Kobe was used to, man. He just came he came off those back-to-back NBA championships. And this is what he was left with. And Smush Parker, them, you know, him and Chris Mim, the guys, it just what didn't work. And that's why they ended up getting rid of that whole roster, bringing in guys like Pau Gasol, Trevor Reza, and all that, building a championship team. None of those guys were part of that team. 
But yeah, I saw. I, it sucks that that happened to him. But that's that's Kobe Bryant for you. But post comments, let me know what you guys' thoughts on this. Do you think you know Kobe probably went too far? He probably did. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.